Hey everybody, it's time for Facebook Friday on Monday. <laughs> I know it has a different feel. Monday is not the same as Friday, but hopefully you can join me. And I, my camera, my phone is flipped. Usually the camera's on this side, so I'm used to talking to that side, but now I've got to look on this side. I don't know why I did it different this time. Hey, I see some of you jumping on, good. Hopefully you can find time in your busy Monday to join me. If not, the replay will be here forever and on YouTube, of course, as well. All right, let's see, make sure, yep, here I am in the right place. Let me um, share this over um, to my page page, business page. Hi, Debbie. Hey everybody, hi. Yeah, you, so Friday, I was sick, you guys. And I don't think that I have ever um, canceled a Facebook Live for being sick, but I was pretty sick. And um, knock on wood, I don't get sick very often, um, especially, especially since I stopped teaching school. You know, when you're a teacher, you get everything um, within about the first three or four years of teaching. So I had everything. <laughs> but since I've stopped teaching, I really haven't been sick. And um, it hit me like a ton of bricks Thursday evening, and it kind of scared me. Um, yeah, my voice is still um, rough. <laughs> That's a good way to describe it, but I feel a ton better. I um, almost felt feverish, um, you know, the chills, the um, body aches, all of that, but no fever. I went to the urgent care instead of being with you guys. That's what I did. And I did not have the flu. I just knew I had the flu. I knew it was coming, right? Because my daughter coughed right in my face the week before Thanksgiving, but I didn't get it. So who knows? Just some random virus and um, the yucky awful feeling passed pretty quickly. So now I'm just, you know, dealing with the aftermath. So you guys were so sweet on that post when I said I was sick. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your kind words and your thoughts and prayers. Um, you know, when mama gets sick, it's pretty, pretty weird. And my kids were like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> but I'm fine. It was just a cold, I think, something in my chest. But anyway, I am here. If you can deal with my scratchy voice, um, then I've got some really fun things to show you. And I've got some big news for you. I'm going to start with that, okay? Let's start with that. Stampin' Up! had teased the demonstrators last week that there would be an announcement today about a flash sale coming this week. And so this morning, immediately, I logged on. And it's probably backwards, isn't it? Free shipping, our favorite kind of sale. Stampin' Up! only does this maybe once a year, and I don't even think that they do it once a whole year, a year. It's not, rarely do they do free shipping. So, free shipping. Um, there's a couple caveats on this, it is one day only. When they do it, it's one day only, 24 hour flash sale. You know, guys, our stuff's heavy. It's not like ordering, um, you know, whatever you order from Amazon, a box of paper clips, or I order my powder from, you know, from Amazon. Our stuff is heavy, and that's, in my mind, why I think Stampin' Up! doesn't discount shipping or um, do free shipping very often. If you think about punches, my gosh, they're so heavy. So our stuff, our products are heavy, um, and it costs a lot to ship these days. Um, so when they do free shipping, you get excited because it's rare. So free shipping, it is not today or tomorrow, it is Wednesday the 11th, okay? And it's any order over $50. I know the last time we did um, free shipping, some people were ordering like a snail and having it shipped for free. And I think Stamping Up probably loses money pretty badly on that. And I think that's kind of, um, you know, taking advantage. So I'm glad they came up with that rule. $50 minimum, so you're really getting your, your uh, free shipping's worth, right? $50 minimum, December 11th, which is Wednesday. So how does that affect all of this? You guys know I give the make and takes for free with orders. And typically I do Facebook Friday and then um, <laughs> I'm distracted by Nina's um, comment. Can you take a tour of our craft room one day? Nina, I would love to. If you could see what I took off my counters today and put on the floor so you couldn't see it. <laughs> I need to do it when it's clean, which is only like between catalogs. 
Maybe I will. That would be fun, right? Um, I do have videos on YouTube when I first set up this studio, so you could find it there. That's when it was really clean. Sorry, I was so distracted. So usually Facebook Friday, and then you have until Monday at midnight to put in your order to get the projects for free. Well, so we're all wonky, right? So um, some of you put in orders previously earlier last week with this week's host code, which I don't, I didn't print off, um, but it is on the PDF and it's on my blog. Um, and so usually you have until Monday. Well, this week you're going to have until Wednesday at midnight. Okay, so if you put in an order last week with the host code with the promise of those free make and takes, you're still, they're coming, I promise, you're going to get them. So retroactive till whatever that was last Tuesday, all the way until Wednesday, this Wednesday, day after tomorrow at midnight, you have to put in um, a minimum $35 order um, to get these for free. Now, if you're going to spend $35, you guys, bump it to 50 so you get free shipping and the free all-star tutorial bundle for december that's what i would do um <laughs> okay so if you've been waiting kind of last minute what do i want um you know can i get it before christmas this is it this is the final push um so wednesday from i don't even know the full details usually it's like uh, 1201 Mountain Time to 1150 Mountain Time. Um, just know on Wednesday, whatever's the last stuff on your list from the holiday catalog, free shipping, $50 and over, okay? And I highly encourage of it. I am a sucker for free shipping. It doesn't matter what company sends me that offer. I am a sucker and I just start filling my cart. I like to shop. But anyways, holiday catalog, I wanna remind you that it's ending here um, soon. Obviously, Christmas coming. Um, the, the official final date is January 7th. Last week, they, re they released the um, retirement list, basically. And um, some stuff's retiring, gonna be gone for good when this catalog is gone. Um, some of it, actually, will be carried over. It's gonna go into hibernation at the end of this catalog, but will reappear in the holiday catalog next fall, including the Moose Punch, which we all have wanted, right? The Moose Punch will be back next holiday catalog, um, as well as both of those papers that have sold out, the Brightly Gleaming and, ooh, what's it called, Frosted, you know, the beautiful frosty paper. So some stuff will be hibernating, like someone described it like the Disney movies, go into the vault, and then they come out a few years later when you can buy them. It's kind of the same thing, except it won't be a few years. It'll be six months. So some of it's retiring for good. Some of it's um, going into hibernation for six months. And some of it will be in the annual catalog in June. So if you hop back on my blog a few days back, you'll find that whole list. And you can click on there. You can go to the Stampin' Up! store, stampinup.com. And over on the left side, there will be little tabs where you can click or little links. It'll say holiday catalog. Um, it'll say year end extravaganza. So click on that. You can kind of um, sort through and see. Feels like frost, Betty. Thank you. What did I call it? Frosted florals. That was last year, wasn't it? Feels like frost. That's the paper that is going to hibernate and come back next fall. So check it out. You can see it. Um, also, there's some things in here that are not necessarily just Christmas. Um, this set in particular, I love this and haven't used it enough. I love this set. That can carry you through to the year, uh, through the year. Um, anyways, I, I'm not going to spend time on that, but just know that that's there. Check it out, okay? Um, I'm going to flip you guys around because I have some things I want to tell you, show you before we get started. And while I am text, while I am talking to you guys, my daughter is texting me. I can see it popping up, popping up at the top things she wants me to add to her Christmas list. <laughs> Pat works. Are you in South Africa? Pat, I saw, uh oh, you don't want to say up my nose. Sorry. Um, I saw you were getting on the plane yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. Have you arrived? Oh my gosh. Pat lives here in San Antonio with me. She's one of my local customers. She is fun. She, that is so cool. I can't wait. You better be posting pictures, Pat. Awesome. Okay. Now, let me get situated. I have not even made a video for my class. I got a cough. 
<coughs> may have to do that a few times, you guys. I haven't even made a video for my class um, that is, oh my, look, I'm not in the, the frame very well. Close your eyes, close your eyes, sorry. Um, Rhonda and I are doing a class together. We do this class every December. It's We call it the best of 2019 or whatever the year was. And um, I can't see your comments again, there they are. And um, she designs one class and I design one class. And it's so funny because this year our classes actually kind of coordinate and we did not even plan that. Okay, so that's gonna, that's not part of the class, but I'm gonna show you that in a second. My class is the Sip Sip Hooray Bundle. This is so fun. This is a great set for all time, all year. Um, I love the sentiments. Hope your big day is just one happy hour after the other. Um, after another, that's a great fun birthday card. Sip, sip, hooray, I'll drink to that. So those are great. And then you can, we've got three different glasses. You can decorate them with all these fun little things. And then of course, we've got matching dies for all those little things and the glasses. And then we've got bubbles, right? Okay, so let me show you the projects that are in my class. Three fun, uh, fun cards. My camera is totally backwards today. It's gonna bother me. I was getting a call. I had do not disturb, that's weird. Okay, um, I wonder if I switch the camera because I'm going to be off. Oh, well. Anyways, um, sorry. Um, three fun, three layered cards. They're not all fun folds in my class. Um, but here's one that's a fun fold. It folds down flat and then it pops up like that. Then we've got this beautiful one with your little mint on your glass. Look at that. Gorgeous. Why can't I? See? I feel off. I feel something is not right today with my camera and it's bothering me. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me move my iPad over here so I can see better. Okay, there's that card. There's another beautiful card. Um, here's a fun box, and inside is something champagne related. Look how beautiful that is, champagne. Hooray. And then this one, I don't know if you guys have seen these. I see them every time I go to Target. Um, these champagne um, gourmet gummies, they are in the, the checkout aisle when you go to Target. So the little box closes. And then um, there's a little thing here at the front where it holds a gift card, right? To Target, of course. So those are the five projects that are included in my class. Um, you can find the full details for this class as well as Rhonda's class. Um, at the bottom of today's post, today's blog, there's a link. There's also a direct link on the second page of today's PDF right here. Her class, I don't have her projects, um, but they are gorgeous. She sent me the photos of them and I made a little... Um, the little collage so you can see them. The deal with our classes is that they include products, so both of our classes include half a pack of designer series paper. Um, it, mine includes a bolt of this ribbon, a pack of these sequins, oh, these are, yeah, these are them, the woven thread sequins. Um, so it's $35 shipped, that's it. And hers is $35 shipped, and if you get them together, you save a couple bucks. Um, now, if you, it does not include this. So if you want, if you need this, we, as, Ron and I designed this class late in the catalog because at, at this point, most of you have ordered the bundles that you wanted. So we, we designed the class to be a little bit lower in price, and you can add the bundle on at a discount no tax, no shipping, or you just get it and use what you have, okay? The PDF for my class, of course, is available there. The deadline for this is Friday for both of our classes, okay? Here's a link you can type, type, clickety-clack on your computer, your phone, whatever, and you can find all the details of pricing and all that, okay? Okay, there's that. Next, I want to tell you about gift certificates. I have gift certificates available um, to be spent with me, okay? So if you buy a gift certificate from me, it can only be spent with me. Um, these are great for yourself, <laughs> if your husband's like mine, and he's saying, what do you want for Christmas? And you're saying, I have no idea, I have no idea. Gift certificates are my favorite. So um, you can send your husband or your mom or your boyfriend or whoever my email address and tell them to work it out with me and I'll get it worked out. Um, I'm actually gonna do a special, I was inspired by the restaurants that do this. For every $50 increment, you actually get an extra $5 added on to your gift certificate or in a separate gift certificate. So if you wanted to order your mom a $100 gift certificate, that's actually gonna be $110 and you can get that $10 for yourself if you want it. <laughs> 
<laughs> or you can add it into your mom's. So whatever you want to do, <coughs> excuse me, let me know. Um, I can email it or I can dress it up and fancy. This is one from the previous year. I haven't made one this, this year with um, this year's paper, but it'll be dressed up and it'll be beautiful. Okay. Okay. There's that. Um, All-Star Tutorial Bundle. This is what I was going to show you. This is my project for the All-Star Tutorial Bundle this month. It got squished, my little beautiful glasses. I use Sip Sip Array because I'm loving it. And these are champagne jelly bellies, a champagne jelly belly holder. The All-Star Tutorial Bundle includes 12 tutorials from 12 different designers um, using all current product and they are in both imperial and metric measurements and lots of photographs lots of ideas things for you to use and you get it free with a $50 order from me online or you can buy it um, in my PDF store for $15 if you hop back on my blog today um, for yeah uh, Friday's post you'll see our blog hop and the links there for you to um, to to buy it or find out about it or whatever. Okay, so there's that. And let's see. Oh, I need to tell you about Paper Pumpkin. This month's Paper Pumpkin kit is absolutely stunning. Um, I'm I actually I order several boxes every month because some of you miss out and then you want them. So I, I like to have them. But this month I actually. Um, I'm saving several back for myself because I'm going to use these on all my gifts this year. Um, all these beautiful gift cards, of course, it comes with the stamps and the ink um, and the, the dimensionals that you need, the adhesive, everything you need. Um, and where's that spot? It comes with a spot. I may have taken it out because I didn't use it. Um, but I have a couple extras of these. If you're interested and you want one and you love how gorgeous it is, let me know and I will get it in the mail ASAP to you. It's kind of intense. <laughs> well, not intense, but it takes a while. It was not a quick one this month. It was um, quite, quite a bit of work, which I enjoy. I don't like it when it's too simple. Okay, last but not least, today is like Facebook Friday. Um, if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, at the bottom of that post, under the last photo, you'll find this PDF. It has all three projects that we're gonna make, along with the, the um, all the products listed with the measurements. Hopefully it's correct. I typed this while I was sick last week, um, thinking I was gonna be fine. And so <laughs> I already noticed I left one price off there. So. It may not be perfect, but hopefully it's close enough. Um, not too many crazy measurements this week that you'll need, but um, the details are here. Here's the host code for NYV6R3D. In fact, you know what? Let's see. Can I send it to the printer real quick? Let's see. How long would it take me to do that, to pull that up? If it's already made, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to print it off. You guys are patient. Let's see. Host code. Where are you? Well, maybe not. I can't find it. All right, forget it. Anyway, um, there it is. You can find it on this paper on my blog. I'll remind you at the end. Um, remember, you can get all three of these projects for free um, this week with a minimum $35 order. Um, I would wait until Wednesday, put your order in, bump it to 50 and get free shipping. Um, and then you'll get that tutorial bundle for free, okay? All right, so that means normally I cut all of my Facebook Friday projects this is kind of what, this is what the last one looked like. See, I do all your scoring and everything for you. Um, I usually get those in the mail the following Wednesday. And you guys, I'm pretty regular with that. But this time it won't happen because I'm not even closing it till Wednesday at midnight. So I'll cut them on Thursday. They'll go out on Friday, okay? Okay, let's get started. Oh, wait, prizes. Prizes. Last week's winners for sharing the video are Karen Bull and Laura Hansen. And I think I have both of your mailing addresses, but ladies, if you want to message me, that will get, that will help me get it done quicker. Okay. So send me your, message me your address, please. This week, uh oh, we've got mail here. So Charlie's about to go crazy. She's coming to pick up some mail that's going out. This week's prizes are itty bitty Christmas. Um, and I've added some things in. Look, the gold delicata, is that how you say that? Delicata ink that sold out so fast we didn't even get to use it. Um, a bottle of snow puff paint. Okay, Charlie. Oh, you guys, sorry. Hold on. Shh. Go on. Go on. Go on. I don't even want to tell you guys what my dog did today. He's so bad. Anyways, share this video, you guys, and you'll have a chance to win this awesome bundle. 
Sorry if your dogs are going crazy. And that probably won't be the last time today because I'm expecting some uh, <laughs> deliveries while we have Facebook. Anyways, let's get started. And um, I'll have to tell you guys what, what my, my good dog did today. It wasn't even Charlie. It was the good one. All right. So we're going to use this Holly Jolly bundle. Let me bring you over. They're all cards today for my card lovers. All right. Bright, bold, poppy parade, right? Um, we're using this really fun bundle called Holly Jolly Christmas, and it's retiring. So that means as soon as they have sold through the um, product, it'll be gone. If it's not um, if it's not gone by January 2nd, then it retires. So you won't be able to get it anymore. So if you like it, get it quickly. Um, I don't think it's on low inventory. I'm sure if it is, some of, one of you will tell me. Um, but I love it. It's super cute. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to use the, this one and we're going to use the blends. Now these two cards are relatively simple, but this guy is a little over the top. Are you guys okay with a little over the top today? I thought you might be one over the top. This is probably not the card that you're going to make a hundred of, but maybe you're going to make it for somebody really special and, um, <laughs> or maybe two or three of them, right? Because it's fun to do techniques. I like techniques, and this one is loaded. All right, let's see. Hopefully I got everything out. Hello, everybody who has said hello. I have been trying to um, politely ignore you so that I didn't get distracted. I get so distracted when I want to comment on you what you're saying. <coughs> okay. Okay, so first we're gonna do this background. See this this awesome background back here? Um, I wanted to do like a night sky and Santa on the roof. So I was inspired by, I had a piece of watercolor paper still taped to the board that we used a couple weeks ago when we did the stars. Um, and so I said, let's do something like that, but let's do it a little bit different. So, and we're gonna save on our watercolor paper this time. This is half a sheet of watercolor paper. Um, so I've just cut it in half and I've taped it down to some cardboard. Um, and I made sure when I taped it down to just tape just a little bit of the edge because I want to save as much of that um, paper as I can, okay? So try not to block off too much of the edge. Now I'm going to start with Pacific Point. I just put a wash of water on there, okay? You like technique, Vicky, too? I know, it's fun. Techniques are are just fun. They bring out the artist in you, right? Um, now, maybe a technique heavy card isn't one you wanna make a 100 of. Um, although the one that we did like this before, a lot, uh, two weeks ago, wasn't too difficult. Um, now, I have dipped this in Pacific Point ink onto my block, and I'm just going to wash it up. I want it to be darker on the bottom, so I'm gonna start at the bottom every time. And then <clears throat> I'm going to move that out of the way so there isn't some kind of ink disaster. And I'm gonna stamp this one in Night of Navy. And I'm squeezing just a little bit of water out so that it's still watery, okay? You guys, can you see that? Yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna go up. I want it, the bottom to just be like midnight dark all the way up, okay? All right, now. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna drop some water droplets onto the um, ink, okay? So I'm gonna kind of wash it out a little bit and then I'm just gonna take some water and just drop. This is gonna give us a little more variation in the texture. Can you see what that's doing? And it's going to dry kind of and I probably put too much, but if you just drop little drops, it'll leave a little circle, but that's okay. I want it to just kind of be um, not all smooth. And we're gonna set this aside to dry, okay? So I just dropped a couple of little drops of water on there. All right, now let's, while we're waiting for that to dry, let's color Santa. And I'm gonna use Poppy Parade, Soft Suede, Smoky Slate, and mango okay and look I'm gonna bring this up closer to the camera hopefully this will work hopefully it's not too dark let's see hmm right there um, I want you guys to be able to see coloring because I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about coloring and it doesn't have to be um, 
difficult. Now I'm stamping him in memento black, okay? I wish we had a little more light, but I think that's what we're gonna have to do. All right, so let's start with our light, our light poppy parade. Where's my card? I wanna look at my card so I can remember what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, I am using the bullet tip. I like the bullet tip better than the brush tip um, because I feel like I have better control of it. Um, that is totally a preference and you can play with your marker, decide whatever you wanna do. When I do big spaces, I use that brush tip. All right, so I'm gonna work in some uh, small sections so that my ink doesn't dry. Now I did all Poppy Parade light. Now I'm gonna take the dark and I'm just going to Go around like that. And you know what? I, I can already tell that I'm screwing up. I'm a little shaky from whatever I'm taking, cold medicine. So now I'm wishing you guys weren't so close. <laughs> That's all right. You can use a color lifter to take the color away from places that it goes and you don't want it to go. But today, just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna color and pretend like everything is perfect, okay? All right, now again, I'm taking that dark. Going around wherever there would be a shadow and then blending it all in. He's a really cute Santa. All right, while I'm coloring, let me tell you guys what Mac did. Mac, is thanks for sharing you guys mac is um we have two white miniature schnauzers charlie's our rescue he's the super grouchy old man they're both nine they're they're you know getting up in age and mac um is our sweet just he's scared of the outside he doesn't ever want to go outside he um He's snuggly, he likes to stay in his bed in his kennel, and he's a good boy, and he listens, and if you tell him to do something, he does it. If he, if Charlie runs out the door and Mac runs out the door, pretty much I could tell Mac to come back and stop, and he will, and he, I mean, he's just, he's a very good dog, has always been like that, very obedient. Doesn't really ever do anything. Well, today, I ran, today's my oldest daughter's birthday. She is turning 17 today. How in the world I am old enough to have a 17 year old, I do not know. But so I had to run to pick up her cake. She wanted a nothing bunt cake. Had to pick up my groceries. Anyway, ran a couple errands, came home. I was in a hurry because I have a lot of work to do because I didn't work on Friday. And <clears throat> the HelloFresh box was on the porch. Do any of you get HelloFresh? It's those little kit meals. It's like paper pumpkin for your groceries. It's awesome. It comes once a week. You pick out your meals. And it's a lot of um, fresh produce, fresh um, meat. Um, you know, everything you need is in there. And so when I picked up the box, and it comes packed in ice. I mean, like, seriously packed in ice. And so I don't ever rush to go put it away because it's in ice and it's gonna be still super cold, almost frozen, if I leave it in that box all day. All right, so I've done all the red. Now I'm gonna go do his, his bag. I'm gonna start with light, soft suede. So I bring in that HelloFresh box along with all my groceries, um, some other things. I was kind of in a hurry. I I put the box down right inside the front door and I was just not really, I wasn't really going to do anything with it. Um, I brought in the groceries, whatever. And I came back and I could see that Mac, my sweet little old man dog. Oh wait, this is the wrong color. I have bronze for some reason. Let me grab the right one. Mac is licking the side of the box, right? He's licking it. And I thought, oh great. Because from time to time, the meat will have kind of, um, um, leaked, you know, like the, the meat from the, or the liquid from the, um, ground beef or the chicken or whatever has leaked. Well, I thought, okay, well, it looks like it's leaked out 
the side of the box. That not that nice? Like, I, you know, I was kind of annoyed, but really didn't think much about it. So I picked the box up because it was sitting on my hardwood floor and I take it and I just set it in my kitchen on the rug. Um, there in my kitchen. Again, I'm not going to do anything with it because it's frozen. It's all super cold in there. Hi, everybody. Thanks for Santa's decapitated. What? What did I do? Did I mess him up? Um, no, or maybe you're guessing what Mac did. <laughs> no. Um, so the HelloFresh box, right? So he, okay, so I put it in the kitchen. So I go about doing whatever. I'm in the office for about 20 minutes. I go, I don't know where I was going. And Mac is in the living room with a raw chicken breast. And he's eating a raw chicken breast in the living room. And so, of course, I'm freaking out. Like, oh my God, Mac, what are you doing? Gross, Ugh, freaking out. This is light smoky slate, by the way. I'm gonna do his mittens and his boots. So I grab it from him and it's still kind of in the packaging, but he has ripped the packaging open. I go over and the little jerk, little stinker, you know what, I'm gonna do this whole thing dark smoky slate. I like the whole thing dark. Um, you could do basic black too, but I'm basic black. My basic black blends scare me a little bit because they are so dark. He had chewed a giant hole into the side of the HelloFresh box. A giant hole. Mac, my perfect, precious, darling, little old man dog who never does a thing. I could not believe it. So, that was the drama for the day. He, he knew immediately, although he went into his kennel when I was saying, oh my God, what did you do? And, but then he came right back out and he was sniffing around <laughs> trying to find remnants of it. Stinker. So, my mom, okay, I'm going to take my light smoky slate and just kind of go around the very edge of his beard and the white spots okay just telling you guys what I'm doing because I know I'm talking about things that don't matter so my mom thinks I should call and tell HelloFresh that it's their fault because it was the meat should not have been leaking out the side of the box what do you guys think would you call or is it my fault because I knew it was leaking as soon as I got it I feel like it's kind of like my fault I don't know. I'm almost embarrassed to call him and tell him, um, my dog got into your box because that sounds kind of like my fault. I don't know. What would you guys do? <sighs> because obviously now I'm out the chicken breast. If I want to make that meal, I'm going to have to go buy some chicken breast. Hmm. You think, Stacy? You agree? Um, I've had to call them a couple of times. Things were missing from my box and they're really good. But... Oh, Carol, you agree? Stacy, you agree? Nina, do I feed him? Yeah, he's a fatty. Mac is our resident fatty. He is he is 28 pounds, whereas Charlie is, tw is 18 pounds. He's 10 pounds heavier than his brother. He is a fatty, fatty, fatty. So he likes food. That is, I will say, I was thinking about that later. That is one thing. He will get in the trash from time to time. He likes the trash. You know what? I need crumb cake here don't I because I don't want my bear to be the exact same color all right so you guys you can't see Santa's head oh thank you see my camera's off sorry my camera's off today why is it off something is weird something is weird with my camera okay I'm gonna grab crumb cake dark thank you for telling me that's what you were probably talking about Nina is that I had decapitated no this looks like what is this dark crumb cake this looks no it's different so today has not been productive. I've been cleaning up. Oh, I don't think I like that. I think I would use dark again. I mean, light, smoky slate. What am I talking about? Light crumb cake. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Good thing he's small. I've been cleaning up after the dog, getting ready for Ellie's little birthday dinner. Goodness gracious. And you know what other color I forgot was blushing. Not blushing, bro. I petal pink for Santa's face. He's so cute and sweet. I can't get mad at him. 
He's he's a relatively good boy, although he is the reason we have a trash can with a lid. So I guess he just was like, hey, all right. Mama's not paying attention. I am going to eat me some chicken breast. I'm just waiting for the... Hopefully he didn't eat too much of it because I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, sorry, you guys. I was not paying attention. Thinking about my naughty puppy. Okay, so there we go. Not too difficult, right? Not too much. And all that shading, all I did was just kind of put that darker color there wherever it would be overlapping, okay? All right, let's cut that out. And, of course, we love a bundle that has matching dyes, which these do. Um, so I'm going to cut out our little Santa. And if you haven't taken the time um, to look at... <coughs> excuse me, to look at um, the samples of this in the catalog you need to. It's super, super cute. There's one with a dark sky that has the silhouette of the sleigh in the background. Um, and it's beautiful. Okay, so now, why do I have, oh, I know. Okay, so we've got a dark, we've got this dark card base. Oh, <coughs> Charlie. <laughs> Amazon delivery now. It's going to be that kind of day. All right, so we've got a Knight of Navy card base. Let's look at our dried um, watercolor. Can you see how it those little water drops did that um, kind of lightened it there, left kind of almost like maybe clouds in the night sky? So that's why I did a few little drops of water. Now, surprise, there's one on the back that's totally done and dry. Now, you guys, get ready to be wowed, because I have something to show you. Something that is coming, and I cannot hardly contain myself. I'm gonna cut this down, I'm gonna trim off these edges with a brand new, tiny, baby trimmer. You might have seen this, you might not have. I just got it last week. This is the new Stampin' Up! Mini guillotine trimmer. You guys have seen the one that I keep hidden over here because it's not from Stampin' Up! that I love. Well now, look at this one. It's so cute. And the only way you can get it, there's two ways actually. The only way you can get it is by buying the starter kit during celebration. It's going to be free during celebration starting January 3rd. In your starter kit, you can get for $99, you get $125 of product of your choice, and you get this free mini trimmer, and you get a six by six paper sampler. There's a lot of stuff. And any additional stamp set of your choice. It's pretty amazing, the starter kit deal during celebration. So you can get that. Um, I lost my sample card again. I wanna make sure, yeah, okay, make sure. I know what I'm doing. So you can get that during celebration. The other way to get it is if you're a demonstrator. That's how I got it. Um, demonstrators can order it only one this month. So you guys know what's, what I'm gonna tell you, is what I tell you all along, is that you need to buy the starter kit so you can take advantage of all the amazing deals, not only from Stamping Up, but from me that you get by being on my team, like free PDFs, um, discounted class kits, free training, um, pr lots of prizes during the month, all kinds of things. It's just gonna get really sweet during celebration. Now, if you wanted to join, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing while I'm talking. Snow puff paint, uh, silicone uh, matte, an old aqua painter. I'm gonna take it, and where's the lid? I need the lid. Do I not have the lid? All right, well, let's do this. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on like this. I really want to flick it, so I'm going to use my finger. So there you go, mini paper trimmers coming. The only way you can get it is in the starter kit in um, January, February, or March, while supplies last, of course, or as a demonstrator. If you're a demonstrator now, or if you buy the starter kit now, then you can turn around and, and order that tiny little paper cutter. It's very cute, it's very handy, I use mine my non stamping up one all the time but this one is so cute it's got a lower profile than the other one that i have and i love it it cuts really well all right so i've sprinkled on some snow here 
and I'm hitting it with a heat tool. What time is that? I feel like I, oh yeah, I'm way behind. I got to speed up. Uh, I had a lot to tell you since I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I don't think we've, I don't think we've spoken since before Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Ours was great in my mom's new house. Your heat tool is going to puff up and give you all that snow splatter all over the place, okay? All right, that's good enough for now. On my other one, I actually did um, several, did that several times. Splatter, heat, splatter, heat. All right, let's put this in the middle of our Knight of Navy card base. That trimmer is so cute. Karen, customers can't buy it. The only way you can get it is in your starter kit. Gotta buy that starter kit. And, um, you know, that starter kit's always the best deal. Um, but during celebration, that starter kit is even better because you get so much for free. Now this is early espresso cardstock. I'm cutting it down to one and a fourth. Um, one and a fourth by five and a half. And then for the chimney, I'm gonna do, that looks a little bit wide. Let's see, is that wide? Yeah, one and a half is what. These measurements are over there on that PDF and I'm not even looking at them. So one and a half by two, I believe. All right, and then I'm gonna get my little black piece and cut off, did I write that down? I didn't write that down. I think that's probably just a half inch. By two and let's see a fourth. Let's see, does that look like a chimney? Yep, looks like a chimney. All right, so, um, thanks uh, Vicki, you're so sweet. Um, <coughs> oh, this cough's driving me crazy. So, you want the mini trimmer, you can either buy the starter kit now, if you've gotta have it now. It won't come free in the starter kit now, but you can buy it as a demonstrator afterwards. Once you become a demonstrator, you have access, you have discounts, you have access to our team stuff, all kinds of things. That discount really is the main reason most of us join, I think. All right, there's our, I have embossed this with a brick and mortar embossing folder, isn't it cute? And I look like I'm crooked, but we're going with it. All right, so now let's get the puff paint out again. And I'm gonna add some puff paint to the top of my roof and the top of my chimney. And I think I'll put some over here, just kind of sporadic, because that's what snow does. Oh, it's leaking underneath, I better turn that on. All right. So if you've never looked at the Starter Kit Special, it's always $99. You get $125 in product, that's what it is this month. And when you join my team, you get all my PDFs for free every month. You get um, access to our team group page. We do lots of contests, challenges, prizes, giveaways. You don't have to, I, I get this question a lot. If I buy the starter kit, do I have to do videos and have classes? No, absolutely not, never. You can be your one and only customer. It's really the, like being a preferred customer. You order from yourself and you get your discount. Um, now occasionally, you might have a friend that might wanna put in an order. And then you are selling to your friend, but you're not really doing you know, what I'm doing. You don't have to. But of course, if you want to try to make some extra money, I do training all the time with my team online um, with how to do that, all right? We just did a training on how to make $500 every month. All right, so now we've got all of that in place. Let's put it together. We're almost done with this one. All right, a couple dimensionals, and by a couple, I probably mean more than that. And we're gonna have him overlapping. Hey, Sonia, nice to see you. Let's have him right there. And last but not least, here's one of the dies in the set. I don't know how I'm so dirty already. Uh, <laughs> here it is right here, to be jolly. And we're just gonna cut off the to be. And it's just gonna say be jolly, okay? And I'm gonna use my fine tip glue pen, which <coughs> by the way, my fine tip glue pen and I, we've been getting along quite well lately. 
I'm not sure if it's because I took him on stage with me in Vegas and now he's like, hey, we're, we're buddies. But I have been using it quite a bit lately and really liking it. <laughs> you guys know in the past, oh, come on, there we go. In the past, the fine tip blue pen and I, I don't know, we had a love-hate relationship. But now we've been getting along pretty well. All right, there we go. Maybe, Catherine, maybe because I'm using it more. All right, there we go. Did I, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know, but it's crooked, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? There we have it. You guys, what do you think? Lots of techniques, embossing, coloring, puff paint, watercolor. It's fully, oops, I'm out of the frame again. Fully, fully technique heavy. All right, next up, we gotta move along. Let's move along to the next one. Now the next one doesn't have any stamps from the Holly Jolly Bundle, which, let me remind you, is retiring, so if you want it, you gotta get it, because it's gonna be gone for good. All right, let's move all of this out of the way, boop, 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 over here, and we're gonna bring out our trusty Stamparatus today. And this, like I said, this card does not have any stamps from the um, Holly Jolly Suite, but it does have my favorite, my BFF background stamp, the Buffalo background. And I love using my Stamparatus with, um, Let's see, I'm gonna stamp it like that. So I wanna put my paper right here. I prefer every time to use my Stamparatus on my background stamps because you can re-ink it and stamp it again if you don't stamp it right, all right? Okay, so Poppy Parade ink. And I just re-inked my Poppy Parade ink pad. So hopefully it was quite the desert after my retreat. I am so off today. I've got to remember to make sure to put my camera the right way. All right, so we've inked it up. Uh-oh, my magnet's in the way. And we're gonna press that down. And when I say press, guys, stand up, get out of your chair, and put your body weight all over it. I hear a lot of times people say, I can't get my Buffalo background check stamp to work. And, and my first thing is, put your body weight into it. You can't be delicate. Sometimes we're pretty delicate with our stamps, but not these. You really want to push down on all four quadrants of it, okay? So Poppy Parade ink on Poppy Parade cardstock. There we go, voila. And let me move all of this, and let's bring our little baby trimmer back out. I can't call it the mini. I have to call it the baby. Now, this is set up really for a card, um, like a card front. See, it's just about that size. So if you are gonna get this in your starter kit, don't be shocked when it comes and it's tiny, cause it is tiny, right? Um, and I, let's see, I want it to be four inches. There we go. And then it's too, this is too long, but that's okay, I can figure it out. I'm gonna, and plus we all have, hopefully, our paper trimmer now, our regular paper trimmer, so you can use that um, for your bigger things. Let's see, perfect. Um, this is just a fun, handy trimmer to keep in your desk drawer to cut those little things. The thing I like the most about the minis is when I need to cut a sentiment, I don't have anything here now, but if I had stamped a sentiment right there on the edge and I wanted to cut it, I can see it clearly. Oh, and by the way, it has a guard I removed the guard because I'm dangerous like that, <laughs> okay? Um, because I like to be able to hold it there. So it comes with a guard, just letting you know that I don't have time for a guard. I always remove it. Oh, let's use dimensionals. All right, so we're going to put this on here like this. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it, Betty? It's so cute. Something about just the miniature size. At on stage, when they showed that we could get a mini, that demonstrators who buy the starter kit, customers who buy the starter kit, could get the mini trimmer, we all started freaking out. How can we get the mini trimmer? How can we get the mini trimmer? 
Um, we all had to have our own mini trimmer. And if you're a demonstrator, you can't buy the starter kit again. Um, and then we found out that we would be able to buy it. We were so excited. Okay, but you guys can get it for free. I'm sorry, my hands are gross. Or paint all over them or ink. All right, now we're gonna stack this up. Do you guys remember the thickers, those stickers that were the alphabet stickers? I like to do this <coughs> with word dies because it makes them um, look a little bit thicker. So I've cut out three of them and I'm gonna stack them, I'm gonna glue them on to each other. Now if you have the old, um, Oh, what do you call it? <clears throat> the adhesive sheets, that's the word I'm looking for. We used to have adhesive sheets that retired. If you have the adhesive sheets, this is the perfect project for those, but I don't have any anymore. So they retired. So we're gonna use the next best thing, my little trusty friend here, <laughs> the fine tip glue pen. And let's see. All right, now, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna stack it onto this one. I really should have my paper here because this is messy. Am I out of the frame? Okay, good, I'm not. All right, get them lined up. The good thing about the liquid glue, I shouldn't have put it on both of them. or should have started with the top. The good thing about the liquid glue is that you have time to move it around to get it right on top of each other. Um, if you use that adhesive sheet, you would have less time <laughs> to do that. Okay, come on, now you're just embarrassing me. Get it together. There we go. All right, now, now I made a mess of my desk. Now take this one, let me get those little doodads that are still there right on top. Can you guys hear my clock ticking? It's taunting me, it's like, hurry up. You talked too much today. You have to pick up your daughter from school. All right, now, so I've got three of them. I have made this look way harder than it has to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't put glue on both of them. Don't do that. Do one, stick it, and then do the other. Okay. Would you just behave? There we go. All right, now let's get something heavy, set it on there, and let it dry. Okay? All right, now you gotta put your, your glue cap back in ASAP. I have working hands, <laughs> Catherine. Yeah, pretty much. All right, now, I have cut out ahead of time six of these little tags. These are, again, part of this these Holly Jolly dies right here. And I'm just going to adhere them in a little crooked line across my card front, okay? So one, I gotta poke out the little, the little things. Two, and kind of different angles, different um, heights. We want it just a cute little line of, of tags. Some higher, some lower. Like that. And six should fit nicely, I think. What did I use? Who knows? I can't. Goodness, I guess I didn't put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Leave me alone, people. There we go. All right, so it's just kind of, you know, a little crazy. Now, take your linen thread and double it so that you have two threads together at the same time. Okay, tie your bow like they are just one. And then you have a fuller linen bow. And we're gonna take our mini glue dots, which I am almost out of. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, now let's get this guy. And again, I should have left the lid off, I guess. A little bit of mini glue dots. No, a little bit of fine tip glue <laughs> all over the back. 
Oh, I better do it. If I don't do it, I'll be sorry. Oh, mine's a mess. Come on. There we go. One thing I have found is that if you let it sit for just maybe 30 or 40 seconds, it thickens up a little bit, the glue. And I feel like it's not as slippery that way. All right, so there we've got that. Now, let's use the shimmery crystal effects. I love shimmery crystal effects. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of put a shimmer all along these letters. And one thing that this does, for one, it makes it a little bit thicker and just a little more um, dimension. Two, it hides any glue that you accidentally got on the front of your letters. But I think it's more fun because it's sparkly. All right, so you just can kind of outline your letters. You don't have to do all of it. You could just do maybe the curls of the letters, but I think this time I'm gonna pretty much do all of it. This, um. This is the Shimmer Crystal Effects. Sh Crystal Effects actually, you guys, makes really good glue too. Although this one has sparkles in it, so it would be a shame to use it as glue. Um, it's very inexpensive. I think $4, four dollars, four fifty. It's very inexpensive. And boom, we're done with that one. So cute. I did it a little bit higher. It looks like I think I would have liked it a little bit lower. See the difference? Am I up high again? Yeah, there we go. So cute. See here, this one, I only did it in the curls. I'm on the wrong side. The curls right there of the letters. And this time I did it on all the letters. So we'll have to see what that looks like. Cover up any boo-boos that you have with your glue. Okay, we're to the third card and it's not three yet. It's not three. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. The next one is the easiest card we're gonna make today. It's a rainbow card. Thanks guys, simple and cute. <coughs> I think so too. This one is even simpler. Have I shown you? Did I even show you? We're gonna make a rainbow of trees because yeah, why not? All right, and I'm gonna show you what colors I use. Now, you don't have to use the colors that I've used, okay? You use whatever colors you want or whatever colors you have will be fine. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put them in order so that you can see. Over here on this side, we start with um, Flirty Flamingo, and then we go to Light Lovely Lipstick and Dark Lovely Lipstick. Then I use Light Pumpkin Pie, so red, orange, yellow. Then we'll do Dark Pineapple Punch, Dark, mm, dark yes, Dark Granny Apple, and light Bermuda Bay and dark Highland Heather. So those are the colors. I kind of wanted to go pastel. Wait, no, we're missing, we are missing Poppy Parade, which is what our card base is. So that needs to go right there. I think, I think I ended up not using the light Flirty Flamingo. We'll see, okay? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. The first thing that we need to do is find that basket from the other card that has my Poppy Parade ink, and it's probably staring at me right here. Is it? Yep, look, it's right here. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna stamp. Um, I've already cut out the rectangle, okay, right here, and I wanna kind of eyeball where my trees are gonna be. So, about right there, I'm gonna do one there, and then one there in a poppy parade, okay? So now let's move that out of the way and get my Simply Chamois and wash it off because now we're gonna do Memento Black. All right, now you don't have to worry about getting these lined up perfectly because they're already not lined up perfectly, see that? So I'm just gonna do one, and just kind of eyeball it, two, three, okay? They don't have to be perfect, don't stress. You know what, while we have this out, let's do our Believe right down here, like this, in the corner, okay? All right, now, quick and easy. We're gonna start with Flirty Flamingo. And we're gonna color this one in. I love rainbow um, 
well, just, I, I don't know. Rainbow stuff is just fun all the time. But when I see it at Christmas, I always think, why didn't I think of that? Okay, so light, no, dark flirty flamingo, light, lovely lipstick. I kind of went heavy on the pinks and reds and so you could change it up if you wanted if you feel like this is too many and while I have this open I'm gonna color a few of these too all right you just take it and you color it easy okay now dark oh it's hard for me to color when I'm standing up can you guys still see me I know I didn't put it up close this time Okay, let's color one of these. Now, light poppy parade. I can hear a lawnmower. Who's cutting their lawn in December? That's weird. Okay, now we're gonna move on to light pumpkin pie. I didn't really like any of the orangey options and so we're just gonna go with light orange. I mean light pumpkin pie. I don't know it's, it feels a little too muted. All right and then one of my favorites pineapple punch. That's we're coming down to the last few months of these end colors you guys pineapple punch granny apple oh why do I feel like I'm missing a color I've got more trees than colors all right all right no problem we'll fix it oh, my cold medicine is making me color like a three-year-old all right let's do Bermuda Bay we'll do one tree just one coat of Bermuda Bay and then we'll do another tree with two coats of Bermuda Bay I guess I did need that that light flirty flamingo didn't I I started off I left it out I should have colored it then we wouldn't have so many extra trees on this end All right look they look like different colors we're gonna do the same here with a Highland Heather we're gonna do a light one with actually it's dark Highland Heather. Oh man, I have three trees left in one color. <laughs> That's okay. I've got I've got an idea. I'm gonna bring that light flirty flamingo back. Alright, so I'm gonna let that dry just for a second and let's grab that light. He's halfway off anyway. Can't really see him. There we go. And then we'll put another coat right here on this one. So we have two purples. There we go. Oh, and I forgot to color some of these. I like to color these with the other end. I feel like you get better coverage. All right. Um, did we do that one? I don't know. I can't tell. Um, let's do a green one. Like that. The purple one looks like it needs some more purple. All right. Now so cute right so cute so now of course we need some uh, wink of Stella because at Christmas time you can't have enough shimmer and glitter in my opinion okay and even that little dull pumpkin pie looks cute with shimmer on it the wink of Stella all right do 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 a lot of coloring this is a good one where you could make you know a stack sit in front of the tv watch some christmas movies and just color all right now these off do i have my take your pick tool i didn't see it this one is almost run out where's my other one hmm. we'll get that little putty end and we will set these there's one there's two, where's our purple? We'll do that one a little bit lower. We don't want them in a straight line. Up, down, and this guy's pink, I don't know. There we go, okay. So cute, right? I mean, come on, so cute. Now, I cut this out of um, basic black, and all I'm gonna use 
is the reindeer. I need my smaller scissors. Let me get my smaller scissors. Um, now, if you cut this out, you could do Santa, you could do, and then you could use the other three reindeers uh, for other cards. So you could do one die cut for four cards, just using the different deer and then Santa. All right. And then, of course, we need some mini dimensionals. I've got these left over from my paper pumpkin, so we can't let them go to waste. Oh, I should be using my black ones. Darn it. Oh, well. And believe. I mean, who doesn't love a rainbow of Christmas trees? So cute. I got to add, oops, let's see. I only need to do these two because they're the only ones that are going to show up. Add some Week of Stella to these Poppy Parade trees you did here on the end. And grab some dimensionals. Hi, Nancy. You find it more difficult than you thought, Susan? Can't seem to stay in the lines. Yeah, you know, it takes some practice. And when I'm in a hurry, um, I do that. Also, one thing you can do when you're coloring is stay quite a ways from the black line. And then it'll kind of bleed up to that black line. So just leave a, a little skinny white line on the inside of your black line, if that makes sense. And the color will kind of bleed up to that line. There you go, guys. What do you think? Fun. And if you didn't want to use the Stampin' Blends, you could use your watercolor pencils. You could use your Stampin' Light markers. Or you could even use your um, Aqua Painter. No, I wouldn't use Aqua Painter. Um, your um, Blender Pen and your inks. All right. We made it. How late am I? Uh, seven, eight minutes. I try to keep it under an hour, you guys. What do you think? Do you like these projects? They're so fun and some of my favorites of the whole season. I have really, really enjoyed playing with this set. I, I try to do something different than what was shown with the paper. You know, sometimes we only can see the paper that it's displayed uh, with in the catalog. And so I just thought these colors were a little more fun and festive. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go, but let me remind you that you can get the PDF at pinkbuckaroo.com. Free shipping on Wednesday, $50 orders and over will get free shipping. Use this host code right here and you'll get these three projects for free next week, okay? Um, and deadline for this fun Sip Sip Hooray class and the cheers to that class is on Friday. Oh, maybe it's Saturday, I can't remember. What is December 15th? I think that is, uh, oh, that's Sunday. You have until Sunday, okay? But still, this week, this, this we're getting down to it. You guys, thanks so much for putting up with me today. I appreciate it. I am grateful um, for your patience with me and uh, your sweet words last week while I was sick. You guys have a great week. I will be back Friday at 2 o'clock normal time, okay? We're going to have Christmas treats. Easy and fun Christmas treats on Friday. I will see you then at 2 o'clock. You guys have a great week. Bye.